Hi, time for some more Kerbal Space Program. It'd be useful if I could actually say that properly, wouldn't it? Um, the last time I played this, I seem to remember I earned enough signs to bump myself up to one of the 45 point levels and getting a little um, uh, spoilt for what I could go for. Um, I went for aviation, more aviation stuff. So. My plan for this little session was to have a go at building a aircraft in this, which I guess we're doing the let's suppose we're, yes, okay, we're building space planes. Um, I haven't built a space plane in KSP in forever. I can't remember the last time I did, so this is bound to go really, really badly wrong. But I'm gonna see what I can come up with. Um, do, building with this sort of reminds me a little bit of building with um, Simple Planes, which is a game I have on, I think on Android, I think I played it on my Android tablet a long time ago, which was a lot of fun, which I'm digressing a little bit for a moment, but um, I was excited to see is getting a revamp um, <clears throat> at some point um, uh, this year, you know, before the end of the year, maybe in the next couple of months or so, primarily with VR support, which I'm really excited about, and I'm definitely, definitely, definitely going to be buying. Um, right, enough of that. Um, so I got a cockpit. Now what? Um, I need. I think I thought this one through. What we got here. None of that's going to be any good. What can I build a damn space plane out of? Um, um, okay. Right, so pods, fuel tanks. Can we slap fuel tanks on the back? Maybe. I haven't even thought about how propulsion is going to work or anything like that. Because I don't think I've got any uh, solid... Mmm, yeah. Mm, oh, hang on. I've got a jet engine. So how does that work? Uh, okay, so that looks like it goes on the back. Right, I think we're going to do some experiment in here. Um, right. Um, I know I keep saying right. Like, yes, I've made a decision, but mostly it's really just like, right, I have no effing clue what I'm doing. Um, let's put a science module on there because like we can put some science in there and take it for a fly right that works good I'm liking this plan um, don't care about con oh the batteries now and when batteries turned up when did batteries turn up I'm not sure where I got those right wheels we're gonna want wheels but first oh I can make wings okay so we'll play with that so I think um, what happens if I stick a couple of those on? Hang on, what what powers the jet engine? Lost it. Small turbojet, not very efficient, anemic thrust, but hey, it's cheap and it's so cute. Look at the little thing. Uh, okay, right mouse button. Uh, this cargo pouch. Uh, I. So it needs air intake. It works with liquid fuel. Okay, um, this is going to be an experiment. Like, I want to see what happens if I plunk that on the back of there. Right, okay, so, plan. Right, first thing we build isn't even going to... Oh yeah, I did one that one already. Isn't even going to be something that flies. I'm just going to test the engine. Basically, I built a jet car, which is cool. 
I just want to see if this works. This is the plan. This is good science. We're testing. Um, <coughs> excuse me. We're. I don't like the way that's bouncing. We're testing. Okay, that doesn't work. That 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 the yeah, air that doesn't work. Jeb doesn't look impressed. Okay, so how do jet engines work? How do I recover? How do I recover? Okay, let's um, revert back to the hangar. <sighs> okay, I'm confused by this. Um, what even is air intakes? Um, how, where, where would air intakes even be? Um, how do these wing things work anyway? Not like that. Uh, ah! How do you make the wings bigger and have it line up? That's rubbish. So what I want to do is... Oh, engines have got wings, right? No, I don't know what I'm doing here. Um, stuff and things. What's this? Oh, intakes! Ah! Okay. So how do they work? Where do they go? How do you mount them? Where would you mount them? Um, hang on. Okay. So let's throw that away. Um, I don't understand. I mean, I maybe should have looked at a tutorial or something, but, like, where's the fun in that, right? Uh, give me that. Whoa. Okay. Ah, okay, okay. I see, so they're kind of wings. Can you mount intakes on wings? I don't understand where this... Okay, not like that. You can't do that, apparently. What do you do with the air, the intakes? I don't understand. Hmm. I don't think this is going to be a very successful video. Um, tail, what's the tail? Uh, ooh, ooh, hello. Who are you? What even are you? You're interesting. <laughs> I mean, Air and it takes and that. I don't think that's what that's really meant for that. Oh, uh, I better know what this is. Um, right, so it. Uh, that, 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 uh. Can I not. Oh, that's not what I thought it was then. Oh, why is it. There's a button for turning stuff around or something, isn't there? No, it's not that. Um. Bet there's a thing for rotating parts or something. I need to figure that out. I was wondering if that was like a tail cone or something. Uh, okay, so we've got elevons, small intake, structural wing type thing, whatever. Um, bugger! I don't understand. I don't understand. Um, help. A little. Okay. That's interesting. 
Right, so that gets us between those two different build areas. I, I just want to see how I get a jet engine even working. Like, how do you even jet engine? Um, like, what happens if I... Can I... Can I it's a liquid fuel engine. So that says it's a jet engine. I mean, that, nah. Okay, no. Um, I find it very difficult to believe it would have given me some basic um, aircraft parts, including kind of the parts need to make a jet engine and then not let me build yeah I find that hard to believe let's just check that even this works a little bit thrust ah Okay, why is that not working? Even that's not working. That's got fuel. Okay, so that's liquid fuel. That's liquid fuel. And that's a liquid fuel engine. And it's not engineing. Why is it not engineing? Um, I'm confused now. I don't know what to make of that. Um, okay, let's revert back to the hangar. So, I is this a fuel flow thing or something like that? I kind of find that weird to imagine, but. Um, what happens if we stick a bigger engine on? I don't think it's going to make any difference, obviously. Um, what about these things? They look interesting. What happens if we put two of those on? I mean, it looks cool, right? Yep, it just gives one puff and then does nothing. Um, <sighs> so that's not great. Let's take that off. I'm curious now, what happens if I go in here? Oh, it's still going to be that way anyway, isn't it? Okay, I was wondering if I could put on the launch pad and see if it worked the other way. I'm sure there's a way of turning the spacecraft around, but goodness no. Oh, rotate tool. Select a part to rotate. Can I select the whole thing? There. Oh. So what happens if I do this? If this does anything, I'm going to have to revert, obviously, because there's no way of rescuing Jeb. Okay, so we have fuel and we have an engine and it seems to recognize that that fuel is associated with the engine, but it's not doing anything. Um, I'm really confused. I'm really confused. And I don't seem to be able to build a um, I don't seem to be able to build a jet engine. So is this down to all right, we're getting a bit desperate here. Is this down to the type of cockpit or something like that?
Where's the rest of my sp oh I wanted the rest of my space plane back. So what was he using? Um, fuel tanks I had. So how do I, I take that? No, I want to rotate. Slip hat. That. Well, let me rotate. That's not helpful. Oh, do you know, I, I find the user interface in KSP so bloody annoying at times. Um, and I say this as someone who's built lots and lots of things in Second Life, for example, which, you know, is a, if anyone knows it, you know, you can build lots of things out of parts in a 3D world and everything, and it's, it's, I just find it really quite intuitive, whereas the build tools in this are just so, the user interface is just so iffy. Um, Oh, I'm really annoyed by this now. I'm very confused and don't understand why. Okay, I'm going to abandon that. Don't save. Let's go over here. Um, look, it's not even letting me rotate now. I'm trying to rotate and I can't. So... Hang on, I'm going to go back, and what happens if I throw, ah, so it's, it's definitely saying I can't use the um, spacecraft, uh, the um, space plane, oh, hang on, that, what's going on, why is that ghost like now? Something's wacky here. It's not letting me build anymore. I don't understand. Why is that ghost like? Right, don't save. New build. What the heck? So apparently, can't build stuff anymore. What happens if I... Right, so there's a rocket I built before. Now let's go back to new. Ah, was I just... Oh, for pity's sake. So it was... Must be down to the zoom... Th oh. God, KSP, you are just such a terrible UI. You really are. Right, okay. So, can I throw that away? And then I can throw that out. Right, so. Um, so let's get rid of that. Right, I'm going to go back for one of those. And I want... Um, stuff and things and what am I doing? Um, Genesis is really throwing me now. Okay, so I want just one of those fuel tanks and engine. I'm going to go for that engine. Right, staging is as straightforward as possible. I'm, I'm just going to do a cheeky launch here. I'm just going to like launch and then a bot because I'm now in I'm not really in sort of like trying to get science mode here. I'm like, what the hell's actually going on? So. No. Why? Why is suddenly none of my rockets working? What am I missing? What am I missing? This is really confusing. So now what happens if I... Let's just load one up that we know works and launch. Hmm. 
Well, let's just give it a bit of Okay, that one works. So what? I don't understand. Right, I'm just going to revert. Revert. So, I, I literally just threw out that. And I threw out... Oh, am I an idiot? Hang on, so that says it's fuselage, whereas they're tanks. I don't think I understand. This is a cargo part, can be placed in... S I don't understand what that means. So hang on. This, this doesn't make sense to me because... Okay, so if I'm reading that right, that could suggest that it is basically fuselage without any fuel. Which would be fair enough. But then... It's showing me that it's got fuel. Ah, hang on. Right, let's launch that. Right, so give it... Right, that's done nothing. So I've just noticed that little... Okay, I don't know what that does. So that apparently has turned off its ability to deliver fuel. There's fuel being delivered and nothing's happening. Okay, so back to the vehicle assembly building. So let's dump that. This is confusing the hell out of me. So let's just go for that fuel tank. And same engine on. Launch. And that works. So, uh, so there's something about those fuel tanks that I'm obviously missing. Right, so Back to the assembly building. Start off fresh. Right, I want that. This is really annoying. Um, there's obviously something I really don't understand about this. So I'm going to stick a fuel tank on there and stick another fuel tank on there. And then I want to know what happens if I stick the jet engine on the back. And then let's put some wheels on it. Just because we don't want it to fall over right. Put those there. Put those there. And let's launch and see what happens. Now I'm kind of expecting this not to work, but I don't know. Confused so much. Here. Right. It's kind of what I'm expecting. I'm not expecting the jet engine to um, really do anything because presumably it needs an air intake, and I'm not sure how that works. Um, right, recover. Oh, apparently it lets me recover now as well as it wasn't before. Uh, so I'm going to lose the jet engine for now and put oop, 
that engine on and does that let us do something? Right Jeb, there we go. Right, whoa. Whee, why is it dragging off to the side? <laughs> um, probably because it's dragging its belly. Okay, the wheels actually aren't on the floor. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> it's going to stop rolling any moment, Jeb, and it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Yay, well done, Jeb. <laughs> like I, I, I'd get off there if I was you. There we go. <laughs> oh, poor old Jeb. Can we get a report? Uh, EVA report. <laughs> Got some science. <laughs> okay. What about a surface sample? Oh my God, we've got nine science. Okay. Well, that's something, right? Um, actually, I haven't thought to try all the science on just on the um, runway okay let's fix those wheels let's see if we can make something that can get at least to the end of the um oh why didn't i get any science out of that i don't understand that makes no sense god i find this game so frustrating at times right uh so i'm going to move the wheels down a bit that that didn't work try again i want to move the wheels down a bit how does that look that looks good and i want to move these wheels also down a bit right that looks a bit more promising. Let's try that. Oh! Right. There's still stuff on the runway. I don't understand why I was able to do the EVA report and stuff, but got nothing for it. Right. This is looking a little bit more controlled. Whoa! Controlled ish? I don't think we're ready to build space planes yet. Um, I think it's worrying that we, <laughs> we can build rockets sooner than we can. Um, uh, build space planes. Right, take a surface sample. Okay, so keep experiment. Okay, and EVA report and keep the experiment. So do I have to put him back in here or something? No, let's recover. Do I get anything for it? Okay, so I got that. So apparently I have to put him back in the craft? <sighs> okay, I think I'm going to have to call a halt to this, but there's one more thing I'm going to do before I do, because this is becoming quite a frustrating experience and I don't quite understand what's going on. So I'm going to pop that off. No, actually no, we'll just leave that there. That's fine. And what we're going to do is, ooh, 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 hang on. What does that do? Is that like do science and stuff. 
Okay, I've got close to dolls than that. Right, we're going to do a bit of um, experimenting here. What, what even is that? Can scientists create the experiment storage unit help cows bring their valuable science back to Kirby while avoiding the hazards of re-entry? How, how big is that? Oh, it's a dinky thing. Wonder where that goes. Right. What I just want to do is just stick some of this stuff to the outside. Right, launch. I'm actually really quite frustrated with this. <laughs> just because, like, yeah, um, I might have to go see if there's um, a spacecraft. Um, ooh. Right. Keep that. Keep that. Yeah, I might have to go and see if there's a um, space plane, I should say, um, tutorial, and just uh, try and learn from that. Okay, keep that. Right. And can we. Uh, oh, can I not do a crew report? Oh, do I do it by. Um, well, it's hard to read. Uh, transfer crew. Okay, no, it doesn't look like I can do a, any kind of crew report or something like that. Does it? Oh, that's kind of cool in there, though. Okay. Um, let's recover that. Hopefully I guess there's a bit more science at least. Okay, it's slowly um, building up. I'm, I think from my next go at this, I, that, I might try and take that new or newish, maybe I got it a while back that newish science module up into orbit. Although quite how you bring the results of that back, I don't quite know. I wonder if I can slap a heat shield on the back of that and bring the whole thing back. I definitely seem to be bumping into um, bits of the game now where I, I really, really, really don't understand how stuff works and might actually have to go off and play the tutorial or something, you know, read the manual, that kind of thing. Um, but I think I'm going to leave it there and not really faff around with um, space planes or anything that much more for a while. Um, that was a real waste of science points. Um, because that just turned into a very frustrating experience. Um, it didn't really seem to get me anywhere, so maybe we'll um, head back to space next time. Anyway, if you were unlucky enough to have watched all of this, thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.